Hello, Void. How you doing? Okay, so second review. My voice is already getting more off than it was, but we'll do our best, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, enough of that. That's going to kill it worse. Alright, well. Usually when people ask me what do I want for Christmas, birthday, holiday, any excuse, I say, I like movies. Judging by this channel, if anyone's watching this, you know. Well, so, when, uh, but I have a very long, extensive list of what movies I own. I have over 2,000 titles in my collection. So, what I'm looking for is usually very, well, it's a wide list of what I'm looking for, but unless you're very up-to-date on, like, these lists I keep online, you, it's, most people don't know what movies I'm actually actively looking for. And I can never remember those when people ask me either, which is why I make these lists. So, usually I just kind of give a... But I don't buy a lot of movies as they come out. Usually I pick up things used all the time, or if I the times I happen to go to Target, I'll just give and see what's there and not too expensive, because I don't like to pay a lot for movies. Unless it's something I am dying to see. Or I have gift cards. But... But, uh, so I will usually say, well, you know what kind of movies I like, and I haven't really picked up anything in the last year, so anything recent, go for it. Because I like, I'm not a picky guy. <laughs> and, well, my younger sibling, uh, made such a request, what do I want for Christmas, and I let that out there. And, well, a couple films turned up, and, well, one of them is one I've been meaning to see for quite a while. They did very well, and I hadn't actually seen any of the films that they got for me. So, first of those was Willy's Wonderland. Now, this, the internet's already talked a lot about this one, so most people already know what there is to say about it. <clears throat> it's a 2021 film starring Nick Cage beating the shit out of animatronics. Do I need to sell this movie anymore? Now... There's a lot of criticisms here that do go into this one usually, but I personally really did enjoy this film. <clears throat> now, so, Nick Cage plays a nameless character whose car breaks down, sabotaged, and uh, he can't afford to pay the mechanic because the mechanic doesn't take card, but makes an offer say, hey, yeah, this I got a guy who's looking for some workers. If you clean up this abandoned children's pizza birthday event center, uh, you can work it off. And so he he goes there and well, starts cleaning up the place, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's thing happens. This movie gets compared a lot to Five Nights at Freddy's. <clears throat> As I have no experience with that game at all, surprisingly, actually, I was able to look at this without that lens. And, well, I dug the hell out of it. <clears throat> now, the movie, for me, always could be more over the top. When you have Nick Cage in there, you want it over the top. I will say it was interesting to have him as a utterly silent protagonist. But he makes it work. <coughs> He does still have a bit of charisma. Just There's some moments that still get you a chuckle, particularly as he's sticking so strictly to his brakes, even in the midst of uh, fighting off the animatronics. So, uh, as he's doing this, uh, a local teen was already trying to burn down the establishment because the whole town knows about these killer animatronics and they're pretty much feeding people to them because otherwise they'd come out and attack the town. So... She was trying to end this devil's bargain by burning down the place. <clears throat> but now, she got stopped earlier, and now Nick Cage is in there, and so she's got a... Wants, her and her friends are trying to get him out so they can finish burning down the place. And, of course, there's where your body count comes from. Okay. So. I will say that as, as a horror film, this is, movie is more fun than scary. It doesn't... It's not really a tense film as... But it's not really trying to be. It's 
more of a, like an action comedy than a horror film. Just kind of has some gruesome moments. Seeing Nick Cage beat the shit out of these animatronics is satisfying. The, the fight scenes, are, they're fun to watch. And having him as a sound protagonist does limit how crazy it can be in that regard. But he sells it in other ways. And for me, that works. Also, the character playing, uh, I think her name was Liv, the girl who gets uh, who's leaving the themes, she's very likable. Her friends are the grinder. Like, okay, this is what these are for the meat grinder. A lot, a couple of them are pretty unlikable and do some really stupid things. So, particularly the couple that decides to go just yeah, start banging in the place that they know is haunted and dangerous. Come on, guys. I will say the animatronic designs were cool. A lot of times that you can tell that, yeah, they're just, they're guys in suits, sure. Rather than actual animatronics, but they do a decent enough job of acting it that it isn't distracting. With the exception of the one that's uh, Siren Sarah, that's clearly just an actress with a fake head on, but it still works for it. I do love the designs for the characters. I wish they had had chances to build up a little bit of the the mythology around this place a little bit more. Not so much the the cult and aspect of that, because that's all explained perfectly fine. But I would have liked to know a little bit more about the birthday place, you know? what's What are these characters supposed to be like, just so they can work that in and ex exploit that for some more either tension or laughs throughout it. I mean, you got a knight running around with these animals. Why is there a knight? Give him some random little story. <laughs> Have them have the animals that have a bit more quirks to them. That that would have been cool. Most of them are pretty same note, except for uh, Cammy Chameleon and uh, Siren Sarah. But other than that, because one of them do, tries to do the whole I'm on your side thing, and the other one's just batshit. So th there's some interesting bits there, but I want just more animatronic things going. So the effects are pretty good there's some of the, the blood is obviously a little bit more cg than it needs to be and there's a lot of black spray for, you see more oil than blood in this movie actually the cg is not bad in this film it's only really noticeable on the ostrich animatronic but even then it's only a couple of scenes that it sticks out overall i was just amused by this movie it, it was a fun ride of it i wasn't expecting greatness and it isn't trying to be it's just it's a fun little film i know a bunch of movies came out around the same time uh, this kind of thing i mean five nights it's it set freddy's is the obvious thing which did beat this one by a couple of years but then around the same time like the banana splits movie came out which i don't know which one was first off the top of my head which was kind of the same thing about animatronics coming to life that one was them trying to bring their show back in a murderous fashion while well, this one is just a cult of terrible people put their souls into animatronics. But this is... I liked it. It's fun. It's not Shakespeare, but it doesn't want to be. It's an entertaining little action film more than anything. Just Like I said, if you want to see Nick Cage just beat the shit out of animatronics for about... Oh, 89 minutes you set and i can do that i can do that for i could uh, watch him do that for good for two hours let alone 89 minutes all right so uh mcguffins uh, i gotta give this one a seven mcguffins it was fun i enjoyed it so it's not going to end up on any of my favorite lists, but it was definitely a cut above a lot of the movies I do watch. So, yeah, I recommend checking it out if you haven't, even if you've heard some of the less than stellar reviews. Just go in and judge it for yourself. Just know what you're getting in for. I was there for that Nick Cage beating out of Metronics. I got it. Sold. All right. That's all on this one. Void, I will you sometime soon i've got one more in my queue but i'm definitely not have time for it tonight and my voice is 
still fading. That lovely little sickness is left, but the effects remain. Well, see you soon, Void.